Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the birth of Merlin and today we're gonna finish up act one scene two which I thought we had done a couple days ago but we're gonna do it for real today and we're gonna get to hear from Modestia as we as we finish off this scene. Now we've heard from her before in act one scene one uh, Edwin who's the son of the Earl of Gloucester confessed his love for her and she was like yeah she's not really all about marrying him and at the end of act one scene one we got to find out that really she's interested in leading a spiritual life uh, she wants to talk to this hermit that's supposed to be coming because she's not really interested in the carnal she feels like people are meant for more than that so in act one scene two we've dug quite a bit further into the carnal as King Aurelius fell in love with the enemy immediately upon seeing her and decides that he's gonna marry her and he's not gonna listen to anything that anybody has to say and even the hermit was like this is a bad idea but the king is like nope I'm marrying Artesia so that's all that there is to say about that and everybody leaves except for the hermit but then Modestia comes in and she has a little bit of a fangirl moment and and she's like you know can I talk to you for a second and he's like yeah you know what's up she's like I'm in love and he says with who with what and she says I sir with you with your religious life your virtue goodness if there be a name to express affection greater, that, that would I learn and utter. Reverend sir, if there be anything to bar my suit, be charitable and expose it. Your prayers are the same orisons which I will number. Holy sir, keep not instruction back from willingness. Possess me of that knowledge leads you on to this humility. For well I know, were greatness good, you would not live so low. So what she's saying, she's, she's confessing her love for the spiritual life. She's like, I, I love your virtue and your goodness. And if there's anything about me that would prevent me from being virtuous and good and pious and spiritual, please tell me because... I want to be like you. I want to be like you. And hopefully I won't get sued for that little tidbit from the Jungle Book. But anyway, weird little sidebar. And at the end, she's like, please, please teach me because I would like to know. And what I know already is that if being great, like if being a king, if being wealthy, if being popular in society was a good thing, you, this spiritual beacon of, of, faith and virtue and goodness and piety wouldn't live as a hermit you know by yourself in a cave kind of sort of thing so she she's saying to him like I get it I get you and I want to be like you and he says what's your name and she says Modestia and he says are you a virgin she says yep and he's like well your name and your virtues line up so come on I'll teach you some stuff come with me and I will teach you how to be how to be pious and faithful and virtuous and good. And then we finish act one, scene two, for real this time. And tomorrow we'll start in on act two, scene one, with some of my favorite characters in this show. So there's some fun stuff coming tomorrow and I will see you then for that. Mwah.